Hey, welcome. Oh, my mic on? Yep. Hey, welcome to another TMK broadcast. This time we're broadcasting from the command ship, the uh, TMK Home 1. There you go. TMK Home 1, because we're rebels over here. All right, so we got some, we got a cool package in uh, the other day, and it was the OP kit for Q3 2019. Now, it's a little late, but hey, we can't complain. We got a bunch of cool prizes in here, so we're excited to get right to it. Um, and so let's go to it right now. Let's hop in here. It's going to load. Take you to my console here so you can see what I'm looking at. There we are. So the organized play kit came in this beautiful card box. If you guys remember the like store champ kits uh, from 2014, uh, summer and winter, they have these nice card boxes. So whoever your local friendly game store is, if they order this kit, tell them to save that box. That can be a cool prize out uh, for you for first place or maybe you know, uh, a laser bringer or a last place or whatever you want to do from there. That's a, or a raffle. That'd be a good raffle prize too. You get a nice cool deck box, carry your cards around in as you go from tournament to tournament. So that is really nice. I like the image on there. I don't know what to say about it, but I really like it. I have my, I have two 2014 boxes that I organize things in. So this looks, I, I'm going to, I'm looking forward because uh, to adding this box to my collection. <laughs> or maybe I'll prize it out. I don't know. So uh, at the TMK Clubhouse here, we have a prize wall. So we don't necessarily do things the normal way that stores do, but we you're, you get club coins and you change them in for prize walls at the, at the clubhouse here in Temecula. So that is a really nice box. I like it a lot. Here is one of our first cards. Uh, it's the front and back of the card. The back has the full art image with the uh, 2019 logo in the bottom right hand corner. That's very typical of the cards we're seeing produced for 2.0. And there are 17 of these cards. So these cards are probably for your standard format tournaments where the top 16 get them or it's a door prize if uh, if you have uh, 16 or less and there's a 17th one in there for the tournament organizer. So this is the uh, Petr... I don't know how they spell these, pronounce these bug names. Petronaki? Petronaki? Arena Ace? Yeah, all, the, all the language looks right on it, so they did a good job making this one. Uh, so like we Separatist fans, we have some Separatist prize support for you. Now, this is going to be a short broadcast, because I'm going to go through these quickly so we get the information out. There we go. Now your next one here is for your standard tournament. This is for a top eight prize, uh, plus one for the TO. So a total of nine cards come in the kit. Uh, R2D2, the, the Y-Wing pilot. Once again, we got the full art, and then we have the corner logo. Now I like the art in this one. The colors are more vibrant. There's more depth of color. There's a variety of color in this one. So those, those are my favorite cards when they could have like I don't know. Maybe I'm like, uh, you know, a, you know, squirrel. Look at all these colors. <laughs> so I don't know how people use R2D2, but at the start of the engagement phase, if there's an enemy ship in your rear arc, gain a calculate token. So that's kind of fun. Maybe maybe you'd start using R2 more. I actually haven't seen a lot of them. It could be interesting to use. And when you do, you can put out there you just add R2 to your collection. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we have 17 of these cards. So one of this is one of these is for a TO. Now these this is really cool. So Fancy Flag Games is starting to support Epic Play in their organized play kits. There's 17 of these cards, so one for the TO, top 16, or aka a door prize for you. But it comes with the new 2.0 Epic ships for the Raider and the Corvette. Even though the Raider hasn't been re-released yet. They are supporting the the Empire, so there you guys go. If you don't get your re-release of the Raider, and you, but the other guys have their old one, the guys that run the old ones, they get to put out the flashy card and have some fun with it. So we're excited to see some Epic tournaments coming around here. Now that they actually have prize support out for Epic. I don't remember uh, if First Edition had any Epic tournament cards or Epic uh, prize support. Um, in your standard or in your, in your local size tournaments, 
you know, I mean, I know they had some at Worlds where they had like the epic range or maneuver templates and stuff like that, but uh, this is the first time I think I've seen uh, epic being supported in alt art cards just for your standard tournament kits. Um, and so this tournament kit is really cool because I didn't say it earlier, but this tournament kit is cool because it has enough in this one box for two tournaments a standard tournament and an epic play tournament. Now, your standard tournament could be like, you know, hyperspace or extended, but uh, now we have epic in here as well. And I think, if I remember right, this next card should be really cool. Yes, there it is. Okay. So we have alternate art formation cards. This is really cool. So these are alt art formation cards for Rebel. Um, they have that little number in the bottom right corner. Um, and that number is the same on all the cards, so all the details are all the same, uh, with the exception of the main uh, picture for the formation slot indicator, where you have the leader, and then you have left flank, right flank, those are all different. But otherwise, the cards are the same, so you'll have a nice uniform look on your, on your guys. And these are the Rebel ones. Let me show you the front of the card here. There you go. Look at this. I love this on the Rebel card. This is my favorite part about this, I think. This card here has the kill markers down there. He's got two bombers, an interceptor, and he's killed six ties. This guy is officially an ace. There you go. Um, at the top of the card, the Aru Besh there, it says Blue Squadron. So you can be flying with this with any of your Blue Squadron formations, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. I'm just going to start flying Blue Squadron ships just because I can put those cards on there. I think it'll be fun. So two of these came in the kit. Now, they also came with two more of another squadron card type, and I'm going to go show you that one right now. These are Empire uh, Formation Squad cards. And so there you have the artwork. It's very nice. I love how they did like the, uh, the paint fade uh, on the red there. Like it's been chipped away. It's been used in battle. So this is really fun. And it kind of reminds you of like an Imperial console that how they have that nice shiny uh, dark metal knob there and the red blinky lights, but they don't blink on cards. Someday they will, someday they will. Now the front is gonna be really exciting to some people because you're gonna see a logo which should be familiar if you're a Star Wars fan. There you go. It's the Inferno Squadron. It's uh, the same squadron I think you play in Battlefront 2. Uh, in the campaign mode, you play as Inferno Squadron, and that is their insignia there. And then they later transition to fight for their resistance. So, very cool. Uh, now, you Empire guys, uh, you can run Inferno Squadron cards, or if somehow, I don't know how you would do it, but I guess you can run it as resistance players too, <laughs> since Inferno Squadron did convert over. And then you can also uh, run Blue Squadron as a resistance player, I'm sure. But these, I think these are really cool. So there's only four of these cards, two of each. Uh, I think when you're playing Epic Play, uh, a lot of tournaments uh, and their suggestion, suggested format will have like a team play section uh, where it's 2v2. And so I think the intention here with these is that you, you'll have first and second place each earn a top spot. Or if it's a team that your team member came with and one of you gets first in the tournament, I don't know how it works. Um, then you'd both get a set of cards. You can pick either Rebel or um, Imperial, which leaves your TO with nothing. <laughs> Poor TO. Poor TO. Um, but this is really cool, though, because uh, I, I think that you can have multiple tournaments with uh, these f fleet formation cards. Now, each card I didn't show you before because it's kind of covered up, but they are labeled 1 through 6 on both of them. And I don't... Yeah, and they're both they're both colored black color, not white, so, and, they're, and they're not reversible. Uh, like, like your normal formation cards where you have a black side and a white side. There we are. Now we're getting to some serious goods here. So here's where the good stuff comes in. Let's take a look at the really good stuff. Acrylic. It wouldn't be a premier tournament kit without some new shiny acrylic. And now we have some new stress tokens. 
Is this the third or the fourth iteration of stress tokens? I'm not sure, but now we have 2.0 stress tokens that are Fantasy Flight uh, products. So they're 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 legal for play no matter where you go. <laughs> now the box comes in with four of these. Um, so I think you you know as we've seen in some tournaments before or some formats uh, in the instructions it says a player can pick the, the t one of the cards or they can pick to have the acrylic, uh, but a lot of TOs just hand out like the acrylic in addition to whatever cards are set out and they uh, I love about the community the TOs here in the community they just like to prize out everything get everything out of the kit and let's, let's give everybody a lot of prizes. So here at the clubhouse, uh, we have tournaments as well as online play for tournament play. So we're going to go ahead and put these in the prize wall, but we're going to be reserving a bag of acrylic for our online community. If anybody from the online community is watching this stream, don't worry. I got your back. We're going to have a league, and we're going to have a top prize be acrylic. Mailed out to you, no extra cost for shipping. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, okay, so here we go. This is super, super cool. This is the last thing in the prize kit. There's only one of these. It is the Anakin Skywalker plastic card. Now, it has a full art on the back, which I didn't get a picture of, uh, of what you see there. Uh, you have a Separatist command ship in the back exploding as Anakin Skywalker flies away. Now, this plastic card has the spot glossing um, on just the Y-Wing. And so it's like, hey, this is Anakin's Wyoming as we fly away uh, for, with victory. But this is really, really fancy. Only one of these. So uh, these are going to be kind of rare unless your tournament uh, organizer buys several packs. But since these are more expensive than the regular organized play kits, you know, depending on how big your community is where you're at, you may only have one of these. But this is really cool. And I'm really excited. Now, this is this is a. I don't think they've given standard tournament kits plastic cards before, so they're kind of up in their game with these, and I like that a lot. I'm super excited to see these. So hopefully, we'll see some more awesome stuff from Fantasy Flight Games. But this has been a quick in-flight report from the TMK Home One, and this is your captain, Buckethead, and I am so glad to serve you guys and to show you the new stuff that's coming out. Now we have this abyss, these prizes will be on our prize wall and I will post on Facebook later with a cost of each card for your club coins. When you play your games here, your tournaments, or whatever, you have chances to earn club coins. You can spend those club coins on the prize wall. These will all be on the prize wall come this Tuesday for our TMK Open Play. And uh, you can spend your club coins there or maybe earn some more later this month. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.